Hey, how's it going? Jonathan Dunkerley here. And today I wanted to share with you the beginner's blueprint on how you could be making $1,000 a day using ChatGPT and MidJourney. And then I'm gonna share with you a list of 400 plus AI tools that you could use to make money with this system. And don't worry, you could start as a complete beginner even if you have never made a penny online before or used AI. I'm going to show you how to use ChatGPT. I'm going to show you how to use MidJourney. And then I'm going to show you a tool that pretty much automates everything that I am showing you right now. Now, first, if you want that list, you can go right here to scarytoolbots.com. You're going to get a list of these AI tools that you could use this system to promote and make money with every single one of these. Now I'm gonna show you the manual steps to do this so you could build your AI video using AI tools. And then I'm gonna show you a tool that you could use in order to do this kind of on autopilot and it pretty much does everything for you. So you could use ChatGPT 3.5 or you could use ChatGPT 4. Uh, the 4 is paid and 3.5 is free at the moment. So you could just use 3.5. So now I have this prompt write a script about why your business needs AI tools. This is for short form content like TikTok. Have a call to action at the end to comment yes, because this, this is a really important part for, for more information to learn more. Or how about yes to learn more? And then I'm gonna hit enter. And now it's already given us a script. We only need the dialogue. We don't need any of the scene direction. We could ask ChatGPT to rewrite it without that. But the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ask it to generate five prompts that I could use in the next tool that we're gonna to go to, MidJourney. So I said, give me five MidJourney prompts based on the script above. So now we have our five MidJourney prompts. We could look at these and see if they're exactly what we want. And what MidJourney is, it's a tool that creates AI images and you run it through a platform called Discord. A lot of people use Discord for things like gaming and, and communities, but you could run it directly in a private server. Let me just show you what it looks like. So I created a Discord server just for some AI tools like MidJourney. So let's just grab one of these prompts just to see what we can get out of MidJourney. And you would need to do this to every single one because you'd want at least five images to use in your video that we're gonna create. So to generate your image, you would just put a slash command, you click image, and then you could just paste in that prompt. And then if you want it to be vertical like this, you would put dash dash, AR, and then whatever aspect ratio, in this case it is nine by 16. And then you just hit enter and it will generate an image that you could use in your video. Now I've cleaned up the script that ChatGPT wrote for me, and we're gonna to go to another platform while our images are generating called Eleven Labs to create our voiceover. You can create a clone of your own voice or somebody else's voice at Eleven Labs, like I cloned my voice right here, and then we cloned Chase's voice right here, and I could use either of our voices, or you could use any of the ones that are built in. So when you create your account, if you want to grab their API key later, it's right here in your profile. You just have this drop down menu and you click profile. I'm not going to click it right now because it would show you my API key, but you could click that and you would be able to grab yours. So then we would just paste in that script and then I could just say whatever voice I wanted. If I wanted it to be my voice, I could, or I could have it in anybody else's. So I could just, say, why don't I do my voice? Then I would generate the voiceover and it just takes a moment. And now we have our completed voiceover. So it created an entire script with the voiceover in my voice that I'm able to then download. I'm gonna download the voiceover. Then I'll be able to take the images that I created. You could use all these images that were created from this one prompt, or you could continue to add in more and more prompts to create more images. So I'm just gonna get the up res versions of all four of these images so I could work with them in the next step. And then you just want to save all of these images. You could just click here. You'll get the best version if you save it from your browser. And you just right click, hit save, and then you could save the image. All the images are being saved. 
Cool, now we have saved all of our images. We have our voiceover that we got from our script. And our next step is going over to a tool like CapCut to assemble all of the pieces. So CapCut is a free editing software. There is a paid tier if you would like to get that, adds some extra features, adds you know syncing to the cloud and things like that. But those aren't really 100% necessary for you to accomplish this. So I'm just gonna go ahead and create a new video and it's gonna ask me the aspect ratio, and I am gonna do vertical nine by 16. And then I'm going to add in the voiceover that we created in 11 labs. Now I can take the voiceover, drop it into the timeline. Then we take these images. We're gonna drop them in on top of our voiceover. Then we're gonna grab another one, drop it in over the voiceover, drop it in over the voiceover. Then we stretch these out, make this longer. We're gonna stretch it out try and make them match up with the, the sound. And then once you have these aligned, I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time on this just because there is a easier way. There is a faster way to do this, a more efficient way. So what I would have to do here to add motion is I would have to go and do something called keyframing. And I would have to add keyframes and add motion. So it'd be like I would start here and then I would say that, okay, that at the end of the, the clip, I want it to look like this. I would stretch it out. Okay, now it looks different. And there'd be motion in the, in the video and it would attract people's eyes. And then you can come over to the side where it says captions and you could generate auto captions. And then you just need to proofread that every single one is correct. And that's really the process of creating these videos. And it, it does take a little bit of time. You have to go and create your initial images that you got the prompts from ChatGPT. You got your script from ChatGPT. And then you go to MidJourney and create your, your images. And then you have to go and create your voiceover using something like Eleven Labs. And then you have to go and go to something like CapCut and edit the video together. And you're going to even want to add in some music. So you're going to want to have some music added in, which CapCut has that built in. And you could add in audio and grab one of these audio tracks. So there's a lot of steps that went into creating this video. And another thing that you can do is you could just go and look at what's already working in in your niche so for example if I went to TikTok, I can go and search for like AI tools and if I wanted to recreate this video that's already got nearly a million views or this one that already has 3.4 million views which is actually about AI video I can click this These are my top... then if you click on the video right click and go to view video details and now that we're on this version of the page, we can go to these three little dots, grab the transcript, and if we wanted to, we could just copy and paste this into ChatGPT and tell it to rewrite this as a fresh original script. And then we could drop that into Eleven Labs. We can take that and put it into uh, mid-journey images and then create our video with original script with a video that is based on a video that has already done really well. And this is Shinify, the tool that takes all of those steps and wraps it into one nice bundle. So let me just show you what you could do with Shinify versus taking all of those steps. If you still need to get a Shinify account, you can get it at shineranker.com. But when you get into your Shinify account, you're gonna be able to go down here to the Shineranker VIP section. And when you click that, there is gonna be so many tutorials in here. If you want to know how to do anything with the tool, go through the tutorials and they are very, very detailed and clear. If you're ever lost, this is the easiest place to get an answer. So the next place that we're gonna to go to is this spot right here where it says, AI tools. I'm going to click AI tools. I'm going to click AI tools. And we're going to use the AI text to image because this basically does exactly what I just showed you how to do manually. So I could take the image prompt that I put into mid journey and paste it here. And then I could take the script that we also put into 11 labs and copy that. And I could take that and go back over to Shinify and I can go to script and I'm able to paste in a custom script. Now I could go back over here to video and there's a couple settings that you, that you could adjust. 
This is accuracy and it requires an additional API key. If you did want to do this, it would make your videos a little bit more unique in every image from a different prompt. And if you did want to do that, it's through the next leg.io and the, you sign up through them and then you would be able to get your authentication token and add it in. And the next one is auto captions. It takes your script and it puts it onto the screen. Then there's animations. It adds motion into the video so you don't have to sit there and keyframe every single part of your video. Then if you'd like, you could also turn on an avatar. And this is through HeyGen. So it's just like our API for MidJourney, we can go to HeyGen and we can create avatars like this that we could take and put directly into our videos. For example, here are a few avatars that I've added into my videos with my own face. And here's an example of one of the avatars I use with HeyGen with my 11 Labs API also entered. So now it looks like I am speaking and it is my own voice. But if you don't want to do that, that's fine. You could always turn off the avatar. And then we can go over to voice. Again, you can go here and it will bring you back to 11 labs where we were before. If you want to get your API key, you can go ahead and grab it right here. But again, these are all optional features. You do not need to do any of these things. You could turn off custom voices and you could pick from any of these other voices. These are all really good voices. For instance, how about we just pick Charlie and we could sample it like this. Then we can go to the next tab, which we was script, and we already have our custom script in there. And then we can go to the next tab, which is music. So if we wanted to add our own music in, we could always just export it with no music, but any of these we could add in. Unlock me, let's go with that. So now let's just double check everything and we can go video. Okay, we're not gonna do accuracy, but we're gonna have add captions add animation, we go to avatar. We're not gonna have our avatar on right now. That does take extra API credits, just so you know. And then voice, we have Charlie. We're gonna go with Charlie. We're not doing the API for that one because we're not using my voice. And then we have our custom script and we have our music. So all what you need to do at this point is hit generate video. And look, we are automatically generating an original video. And if I wanted to, I could even just mix this up really quickly, change the song maybe. Maybe I wanted it to be in a different voice. Let's pick another voice. How about Freya? Um, Perfect. And if we wanted to change any features on the video, we could change the prompt. We could change an animations on or off, whatever we want. But now I could just hit generate video and it's going to take that same exact script, but have a different background. We are going to have different music. We're going to have a different voice. So it's going to be a very original script. And then if we wanted to, we could always just grab this script, go back over to either chat GPT, or we can just go over into Shineify. There is an AI chat tool right here on the left side, and we could say rewrite this script and then hit enter. And just like that, we have another script that we could just put into the tool and have original videos. So I'm gonna go back over to the AI video tools and then I'm gonna go into script and I'm gonna paste this new script. Now, I would recommend that you always proofread what comes out of an AI generator. You should read through this and make sure that the script is what you want. And then when you're ready, you could hit generate video and while we're waiting for these to generate, I wanted to talk about how you could actually take this system and make real money with it. So in this AI avatar agency, it's a three-step system, unveils how to get multiple payments of $750 plus per week, basically taking these strategies and creating these videos for other people. And then you could also go to places like Fiverr and have other people create the videos for you. And Paul James and Chase Rayner have used this system and they have proven that it works. So one thing to notice is that the price is always going up. So I would jump in and try and grab this before the price increases. And this course is about how to get ahead of a market that is about to explode and already really is exploding. And if you want to get the information on how to get started with making money with AI video, whether it is you creating your own videos or if you're creating content for other clients, just make sure that you jump in before the price goes up again. So now we have three different videos completed 100% by AI. And if I hit play, and then we have this other video that had the same exact script. Hello, fellow entrepreneurs. 
it's a different voice, a different background. Then we spun a different script for this one using ChatGPT. Have you ever pondered the power of so now we have three very original videos that we could post all over the internet in Facebook groups, on Instagram, on YouTube, anywhere that short vertical videos, TikTok, anywhere. And you could post these videos and get leads that lead to your email list, that go to your affiliate products, or anything from that list at scarytoolbots.com. And you could see that when you're posting a bunch of these AI videos on a platform like this, like Instagram, or on Facebook pages, or on TikTok, or on YouTube Shorts, then you could post them in multiple places and get several thousand views, 12,000 views. Videos end up blowing up and get even more views than the other videos, but because they're being posted so many times in so many places, you're going to get leads from these videos. So if you want to take the shortcut, go ahead and grab Shineify at ShineRanker.com and go ahead and look in the Discord because there are a lot of people in there talking about how they are using Shineify to get leads for their business. And again, do not forget about the AI Avatar Agency course. You could be making multiple payments of 750 plus per week. You are going to learn the foundations of how to set up this type of business. And again, the price is only $14 right now, but the price always is going up. But this will show you how to get these jobs and how to actually make money making videos either manually like I was showing you, or you could even use tools like Shineify in order to automate this. But jump into this training for only $14 right now, or it might be more by the time you see this video. So I wouldn't wait on this and I will see you in the next video.